Well, hello there. You know, it's quite funny, really. Even with my art degree, there I was hiding my paintings whenever somebody would come around to my house. Years of formal training and still the thought of telling people I was selling my work made my stomach do somersaults, really. I've been thinking about this topic for a little while now um, and because it feels so personal I guess I was wondering to put it up but I also know this needs to be said because so many of you are exactly where I was caught between this burning desire to create, to put your work out into the world and then this overwhelming fear of being seen. So let me take you back a bit. There I was, fresh out of our college full of dreams and technically, I guess, in advert, in inverted commas, qualified to be an artist. But somehow that piece of paper didn't make it any easier to tell people, yes, I'm an artist. Yes, I'm selling my work or hoping to sell my work. And then life happened. I got a proper job, as they would say, and children came along. And with them, this new identity of mum and this other identity of worker. And don't get me, it's a role that I absolutely love. I love being a mother, but somewhere between the school runs and the sleepless nights, my art started feeling something like I had to apologise for. Oh, that's just, yeah, a painting that I did, or that's just, it always came with that's just, almost like I was diminishing or making myself smaller. And I'd say this, over and over again and whilst I was watching my children grow I was also watching my sketchbooks gather dust they were always there in the background but they were sort of somewhere kind of forgotten but here's the thing about creativity it doesn't just go away because it's inconvenient it sits there patient but persistent like a friend or a family member waiting for you to come home because they've arrived early or you're a little bit late. And when I finally started creating again properly this time with the real intention of building a proper business, do you know what I discovered? I discovered it was easier to share my work with complete strangers online than with people who'd known me for years. Now before you get ahead of yourself or you're overthinking this in your own way, think about this for a moment. Why is it that we feel more comfortable being vulnerable with strangers than with our own circles, our own friends and families? And I think it's because strangers don't carry our history. They don't remember us as the teenager who had their dreams and hopes, who wanted to go out into the world and adventure and become whatever it was that was on their heart at that time. They didn't see us in our corporate job. They don't have expectations about who we should or shouldn't be. They just see our art exactly as it is now. No baggage, no preconceptions. And those questions, like those oh so well-meaning questions from friends and family that can feel like tiny arrows sometimes. Is this really the right time? But what about that other job? What about that proper job you have? Do people actually buy art these days? Isn't it a bit late to start something new? Well, here's what I've learned. You don't owe anyone an explanation. Not your family, not your old college friends, not even that voice in your head that keeps asking, who do you think you are doing this? Why would you do that? Nobody's going to buy your art. You don't need to announce your dreams to the world before they're ready. You don't need to justify why you're spending time in your studio instead of doing whatever it is others think you should be doing. This isn't about being secretive. It's about protecting something precious while it grows. Think of it like growing a garden. You don't invite the whole neighbourhood to judge your seedlings, do you? You nurture them quietly, giving them the time to take root, to grow strong. I'm saying this especially to those of you who, like me, felt the weight of an art degree making you think you should have made it by now, or the weight of feeling like you're that bit older and what do you have to show for your life. 
And to those of you who stepped away from creating to raise your family or to work in that proper job, feeling like you've missed your chance. Your timing is perfect exactly as it is. Your experience, all of it, the art training, the time away, the life you've lived, it all adds depth to your work that wouldn't have been there before. So start quietly if you need to. Start small if you want to, but start. The world needs your art more than it needs your explanations. Build your presence online. Connect with people who see your vision without the weight of your history. Let the work speak for itself. The confidence will come and with it, the ability to stand firm in your identity as an artist, regardless of who's watching. And one day you'll realise something wonderful. These opinions you were so afraid of, they've lost their power because by then you'll have something better. You'll have proof, proof that you are right to listen to the persistent, creative voice. Proof that it's never too late to become who you were always meant to be or really long to be. If you're at the beginning of this journey or if you're hiding your art from those closest to you, know this, you're not alone. You're not being cowardly. You're being wise, protecting your creative spirit while it gains strength. I have done exactly this. Even this channel, I have done exactly this. And it has meant that I have been able to go on from strength to strength rather than feeling the weight of expectations of others. Just start. That's it. It's as simple as we want to make it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please do like and comment and follow along for more of these videos that I'll be sharing each week. And until next time, creatives, be kind to yourself. Keep creating, believing in your path. And remember, the only permission you need is your own.